If you've ever been to my Twitter page, you notice that I have a picture of myself with cartoon eyes and a cartoon mouth and little weird teeth. And a friend of mine asked me how I did that. And I'm going to demonstrate this using a picture of George Bush just because I thought it would be amusing. So I have my picture open. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer. Then get the little circle select tool and make a circle a little bigger than his eyes and then just cover his eye actually you can make it a lot bigger if you want maybe like that cover his eyebrows too now I'll fill this with white and then I'm gonna make another layer and then go to my gradient tool change this to radial and make sure this is foreground to background then go in about the center of it and drag it out and hold control to make it perfectly straight actually let me do this first let me go back I should have feather this a little bit just to make it blend in a little better so I'm gonna repeat those steps new layer gradient there that looks a little better now I'm just gonna lower the opacity of the layer with the gradient on it to make it have a little more white now I'll merge this down and move the eye to the place that I want it. That's good. Now I'll get my paintbrush tool and just make a little dot for the pupil. Uh, let me move it over a little. There. No. It needs to be bigger. That's why it looks weird to me. Yes. No. There. I like that. Okay. Now I'll duplicate this layer and move an eye over to here. Now the eyes are done. You can mess around with them if you want, but I'm keeping mine like this. Now I'll make a new layer and select the mouth. Now I'm going to feather it, 5 pixels, and fill it with black. Now I'm just going to rotate it to make it go with the picture a little better. It's a little too much, let me rotate it back a little. there that's good now we're going to draw teeth so we'll make a new layer and zoom in now we're getting the path tool so we can draw the teeth um let's give him fangs so we're gonna draw a triangle press enter then fill it with white okay now you see there's a little black here because I wasn't very accurate with my path so I'm just gonna fill that in with my brush tool that should work let's zoom out see how it looks it's a little too round at the top so I'm just gonna fill that in here and here and now it should look fine. I'm just gonna draw another one over here. Just try to make the path a little better. No, I don't like the way that one came out. Uh, bring it down to here. Yeah, that's about right. Drag this out a little. Enter. Fill. Still need to fix it a little bit, get rid of the black. 
Okay, now we can zoom out. And our cartoon image is done. You can change the teeth if you want. Add some funny hair. Actually, let me mess with his hair a little bit. Let's see what brushes I have. Um, cloud brushes. That could work. Let's make it black. Try to make an afro. I'm not sure if I can do it, but I'll attempt it. Oops. Too much of that brush. Select another one. You can see that I'm getting it like all over his face, but that's okay because I'm just going to erase that later. I don't really like the way it came out, so I'm probably just going to delete this afterwards. You can actually make brushes specifically for hair, so it looks a lot more realistic than a cloud brush would. And maybe I'll go over that in another tutorial. Yeah, this looks weird. But I'm keeping it because I think it's amusing. Let me just cover his ear a little more over here. And erase some of this. And I need a fuzzy brush. Okay, I'm done with my image. Hopefully you're done with yours. If you'd like to see more video tutorials on GIMP, Photoshop, anything, programming, web design, anything you can possibly think of that's extremely geeky like me, you can find it at josephdefazio.com. Now I'm offering web design services and graphic design services. So if you need a website, contact me. We'll try to work something out. I can code PHP, HTML, CSS, and a little C++, but I'm not going to attempt that as a job because I'm not nearly as good with C++ as HTML and PHP. Anyway, check out my website comment on my videos on my website because I don't really care about YouTube and I really don't post as many videos on YouTube as I do on my website. I'll see you later.